before we get started into the corn and bean straw additions to a map, I want to make sure we have the correct settings if you guys haven't made these already. Uh, wherever your game files are located, wherever your save files are located. For me, it's under documents, my games, and farming simulator. In here, you're going to find your game XML file. Make sure that the controls true for development is set. This allows you to bring up the command console. Another good addition to have uh, wherever you launch your game from, in my case Steam, come into properties and set launch options and add minus cheats. Um, this is like a, a switch, switch added to the startup of the program. It also adds on to the amount of command console that you have. So first I'm going to go ahead and unzip my file in my mod location. It's good to keep this zip as a backup, but move it out of your modding folder. Um, this is actually where I'm pulling from to launch the game, so I don't only want one copy in there. Next, I want to go ahead and grab all the files that I'm going to need. and drop them into the map. So first we're going to go ahead and check the mod description XML. In here we're looking to see where the map XML is located. In this case maps and maps the e.xml. So we come in and we pull that up. In here is where all of your additional files are added in and where any additional XMLs are added. So we're going to need to add additional files and we're also going to need a few of these XMLs down here. In particular, density, the bales, the fruit types, and the fill types. Now, these ones that I'm on commenting here are actually going to reference the in game XMLs, and you can tell that by the dollar sign data. So basically what I would need to do here is remove that and reference it to the folder that contains them. In this case, they are in this XML folder. So XML fill types, references this fill types here, etc. So we just need to make those changes uh, for the rest of the files. And now those four XML files are being referenced. Go ahead and grab my I 3D additional files as well. Go ahead and drop them in the additional files. This makes sure that you know the 
the game can read those textures. And then we'll go ahead and save that file. So now I'm just going to go through and just kind of double check all my files and make sure everything is here and good. Right. One thing good to do, you know, pull up your i3Ds and Giants editor. What you're really looking for here is out of the console, see if you have any errors or not. I don't see any errors here. And I'm going to pull up the game i3D. I like to pull this up and just save it just to make sure that it's got all that information. Again, check your console, make sure you don't have any errors that stick out at you. Go ahead and save this. Uh, the file saved. Now I'm going to go test. Ahead and start a new save game with this map. Now from here you can hit your tilde key and bring up your console as well. Um, with this folder being unzipped you're gonna get a warning saying you can't use it in multiplayer it needs to be zipped but that is no big deal. If you hit it again it'll bring up your console prompt and hit it a third time to clear it out. So it's really kind of nice to have this up and, and watch as you're loading in the game. You'll see some stuff right away, like this warning here for a weight trigger. All right. The nice thing with the minus cheats is you get an accelerated run speed if you want to come across the map. Um, but let's go ahead now you can either buy each of the maps individually or you can bring up your console now, GS buy. so GS buy all farmlands is going to allow you to buy all your farmlands so now if I come into my menu you can see that they're all bought the next thing I'm going to want to do is not have to go a long ways to be able to test these textures. So I'll come back in and, and run. Oh, that's not the right command. Um, set. So 
So basically what I'm going to do here is set one of the fields to the right crop with GS set field fruit. I want to do corn first, which is maize and growth level five, which means it's ready to be harvested. And just some other little stuff that I found in the command online. Oh, I forgot to set the field. I want field 80. There we go. So now you can see the fields over here ready to be oh, wrong command. harvested. If we go in and check first first harvest stage. I'll go ahead and grab a combine. help menu and we can see that it's still set to disable straws straw swath come in and set a hired worker and we have our corn stalk straw and then uh by a baler to test that as well. That's why we can make sure that the bales are working correctly and that the particle effects are working correctly as well. You can see the Textures here on the pickup are working. It is registered as corn stalks as the fill type. And we do have the bale starting to come out. Let's go through, run one through. And there we can, we have our cornstalk bales and our cornstalk straw texture. Let's go ahead and test the soybeans as well.
pick up a hired worker here. Oh, come on, pick it up. There we go. Go grab a bailer. Looks like the texture is putting down correctly. So let's go ahead and make sure it's working on the baler as well. Yep, it looks like that texture is working. Now this will have to go and get the corn stalk bale out first, but. Alright, our fill type has changed over to the soybean straw. Let's go ahead and go until we get a bale out. have a soybean bale as well. And we should have these uh, textures available to use now. No errors in our logs. I go ahead and quit out of this game. I also sometimes will bring up the log file out of your game save so you can be able to see a little bit better instead of trying to see throughout now to complete everything up now we know that it's working correctly we can grab all the files here and send them to a zip folder ready to play in in a save game one thing to be careful here after the zip is done make sure you name it correctly um, some maps have specifications directly to the mod map and that's mostly out of default items so this is your placeables where it is reading directly for the mod folder name to find where to put your selling points and stuff now one thing too making these bales doesn't make it available to be able to sell them or be able to use them in animal husbandries it's just creating the fill types and the bales to be able to sell them you have to modify some of these files as well um, so for instance let's find actually this one right here selling station bales if we figure out this location so placeable selling points selling station bales Placeables, selling points, selling station bales. Let's go ahead and open this XML file up. So here you can see that there's already some predefined fill types, so straw, dry grass windrow, etc. So if we copy one of these rows, and what we would do is say corn stalks. Uh, what is this one called? Is it Bean straw. I don't remember exactly what I had it set as. Oh, wrong file. So 
save that file. So now this placeable on the map can accept the two fill types of corn stalks and soybean straw. Um, the to get it into animal husbandry, you would have to edit any of your mod placeable. So the for instance, um, large cattle barn, etc. You would have to modify the XML in there as well. I won't go over that right now. Let's go back to placeables. Don't see any other bale selling stations. Um, if you want to add it to the forage mixtures, I don't think it's actually in this map. No, it's not. Um, you would have to look at the animal husbandry feed. I'll go grab that from one of my other games. So this husbandry food definition. This is where you're going to define what your animals will eat or what it takes to feed them. Um, you can see this one has some other stuff from my other map, cracked corn, etc. Um, I won't really get into too much detail on that one either. Let's just keep it at the selling and getting the textures and stuff into the game. But from here, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, you can see all of the textures and stuff in the game.